it was in the school bookshop at Bromyard that uh, having been as it were fed a diet of English poetry drawn from Paul Gray's Golden Treasury you know, I still have my copy I discovered T.S. Eliot and I pulled this book down out of the shelf and I thought this is this is this moment of revelation this is marvelous this is real poetry so I put it on my I bought it put it on my book list and hoped my father wouldn't notice <laughs> he didn't notice so I gradually built up a little collection of books put them on, on he paid for them unknowingly I wrote this a few weeks ago because I go to a poetry course at Morley College and one of the uh, themes for the week was um, education. And I sat down and I thought, well, what can I write? Anyway, and this emerged. The classical education. It was the smell in corridors, the bygones of collegiate cooking, old cabbage, potato cheese and sweat. Small boys who hated washing hands and missed their mums like hell. This was education paid for. This was learning where damp mornings started with prayers in Latin. The founder of four centuries before decreed and she must be obeyed. Or Ramus, and then Pater Noster. We learnt that pattern quickly. The headmaster was John Christie. A J, more like Jesus when he took a class, rebuked Smith or Jones for daring to respond, Hock Magister, chortling, poor man. We laughed too, respectfully. After all, he was HM, knew our names, would add a note in term reports, told us in church that sex, yes, sex, was a great and beautiful thing, which we knew well, lusting after maids and Mrs. Murray Rust on Sundays. That way you don't forget the Latin, even though sex was deemed to disappear after long cross-country runs through heather, gorse, rain or dry, the Bringsty Miles, Herefordshire once a week. We could still spot hexameters in verse, Greek or Latin. This was learning, paid for. Textbooks had owners, scrawled, smudged names, the recent dead in upschool litanies. The next goodbyes for us? Might it be over before Ari lies it? You're free to go. Free to go to war where each noun has four letters and future tenses can't explain nor Virgil instruct how the stripping down of guns, polish on boots, and belts, brass buckles leads to ending, gone, a ditch, elsewhere. 